now listen grab your popcorn because this one is going to be certainly a long one now we're going to be talking about celebrities showing love to Nicki minaj and we're also going to be talking about the stories behind um, you know some of her songs on pink fire 2 according to her and i'm also going to be like telling you uh breaking down what i think about you know the tracks because you do know that the video that i did earlier on it was kind of rushed because i was at work but now i am at home Home and we can catch up. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's team. So first of all, you guys, we are going to talk about the celebrities we have reacted to Pink Friday 2. Now, we're going to start by Cindy Lauper, you guys. Yes, the legendary Cindy Lauper, whose track was sampled by Nicki Minaj and Pink Friday Girls. Like, if you remember earlier on, I did post a, a snippet, a picture of Pink Friday 2, and I was telling you guys that this is how you sample a song. This is how you maintain a hit a hit do you understand what i'm saying girls just want to have fun that really was a hit during its time and if you're gonna sample a song like that one obviously you have to do it justice and i feel like yes she did do it justice and people kind of feel like oh well um you know that song is a sister to super bass or um you know starships like any of those pop, pop songs of hers that she has done before and i have to agree because the artistry you guys the way she sampled the song Honestly speaking, I love love to see that, okay? So obviously, Cindy Lauper took to her Instagram to basically share that while well, she does approve a Pink Friday too. And um, it has a lot of people surprised, including Nicki Minaj herself, because while well, it seems like she doesn't just clear, uh, you know, samples for people. Do you understand what I'm saying? So Cindy Lauper went ahead and uh, basically posted a picture of, um, you know, Nick, a screenshot of Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday Girls and literally shared it on her instagram story which is iconic you guys Nicki minaj has always loved this woman and the fact that she's out there standing right behind Nicki minaj it's just it's 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 made crazy you guys it's literally winning season for Nicki minaj and it seems like she herself is not taking it for granted because she took to her twitter to say Nicki minaj of course that's what i'm talking about she said i'm told she's never cleared a master recording i'm so grateful i've always loved her as you guys know and indeed Nicki, we do know that you have always loved her and really you did justice to her song so congratulations to Nicki minaj on that and uh, the next thing that we're going to be talking about the celebrities who have expressed their love for Nicki Minaj now I'm going to talk about this together with my review of the track itself you guys, the Nicki Minaj and of course J. Cole track now if you do remember in my earlier on video I told you that J. Cole ate in that song and um, people were basically trying to analyze the lyrics saying that oh my goodness um, it sounds like this was about Nicki Minaj's marriage and the way J. Cole was out here um, sort of like telling Kenneth how to treat Nicki Minaj like it was so deep but listen that all makes sense because the chemistry and when I talk about chemistry I don't just mean sexual tension because I do know that some people confuse chemistry with you know anything that has to do with you know sexual stuff or intimate or like I don't know you know that stuff but like the chemistry the musical chemistry the lyrical chem chemistry that um is between Nicki Minaj and J. Cole in that song um honestly speaking it's amazing you would really think that well they they probably know each other on a personal level like that but according to Nicki Minaj you guys there is something that happened and that I believe contributed to the way that the entire song is gelling up together so this is what Nicki Minaj ended up saying uh, this man J. Cole had a two-hour talk with me two two I didn't realize I was sitting on a therapist's couch but mm, two days later I had this face and couldn't stop crying now listen I have two words for J. Cole with regards to this entire song and those words are creative genius okay the fact that he literally took his time to understand where Nikki was with her emotions before actually hopping onto a song that only is done by somebody who actually does care about his craft and putting in that much effort in making uh, you know this song together with Nicki Minaj to me heads off to J. Cole okay and uh, that being said you guys it seems like he also decided to take to his Instagram uh, to promote the song that he has with Nicki Minaj like J. Cole is a cool dude like literally 
literally he is a cool dude okay because he took to to his instagram something that someone hasn't done you know i'm not gonna mention him by name but this is something that someone we consider close to Nicki minaj hasn't done j cole has already done that because he literally took um you know to his instagram to share um you know the, that entire song that they have together and uh, to basically promote it so this is what he said i got on a song with the god at Nicki minaj thank you for the invite and for the talk respect let me come down featuring me out on pink Friday too uh, right now heads off to j cole you guys he has well i've always respected him as an artist but now he has my respect more okay and um yeah congratulations to them because i could see this being such a hit song and now i'm also going to be talking about um you know are you gone already? Like you guys have been telling you, I cannot get over this song. And uh, contrary to like a lot of people's favorites, this actually might be my favorite track on the album. If if I'm going to be honest, I don't know what it is. Maybe I am in that zone as well. Maybe it's just the e the same era that I am in the era of calmness of, you know, tipping into my emotions and things like that, because that song to me, whew. You guys, it, it was deep to me. And I literally, even now, cannot get over it. It keeps playing in my head. So, it seems like, well, a lot was going on in Nicki Minaj's mind when that song was basically coming out. Because this is, in addition to that entire J. Cole write-up that she wrote, she said, In a world where we know exactly how and when to tear each other apart, there are still kings and queens who know how to put people back together, patch them up, heal them, empower them, understand them, listen to them make them do the most beautiful thing a human being can do smile um and also um he said after having papa bear i couldn't she said i'm sorry oh my goodness she said after having papa bear i couldn't wait for the day that he'd smile at me first smile it was one day when i blew a kiss at him i said papa moi then time froze froze he smiled he smiled at me looking directly in my eyes yes me held back the tears and kept doing a billion more times. I cried later. I've been trying to make him smile every day since. LOL, he actually makes me crack up laughing all the time. No idea where he got all that personality from, but y'all pray for me. Anyway, Cole, it's been a long time coming, but the Babs welcome you with open abs to Gag City. We appreciate you. We hope you stay. Hashtag Pink Friday 2. Hashtag let me calm down now one thing that i've also noticed about this album you guys it's 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 a representation of peace it seems like a woman who knows where exactly she is because it's pure artistry you guys it's pure it's oozing peace it's it's oozing comfort it's oozing i know who i am it's oozing i have uh, you know developed into this woman who is comfortable with where she is. And I love to see that for Nicki Minaj. And I love to see her getting the respect and the support that she deserves. I mean, J. Cole is out here calling her the court, um, which is something that I absolutely love. But one thing though, Nikki, I'm just going to cloak you here. You can't be out here typing out saying that, oh my goodness, I have no idea where Papa B got all that personality from. And I'm just like, girl, girl, don't act like you're not the president of Gag City. Okay, don't act like you don't have personality like that. Of course, Papa B is going to be having so much personality just like you. Um, now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about... Um, uh, the the other female rappers, I'm sorry, something's moving. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about um, you know, the other female rappers who decided to take their time to shout out the queen of rap as expected. It seems like a lot of these gellies actually, the non uh, beta gellies are out here showing support. Sex red for once was out here even sharing the link, um, you know, to uh, Pink Friday too. And of course, I did talk about her saying that she's getting ready to go to gig, um, you know, city. And Asian uh, doll is out there letting us know also she said nikki ate pink friday what the f and jt i know jt right now is not calm i mean imagine jt listening to everybody and i'm just like oh my goodness this is your song literally your man is there and also your friend is there your mentor is there and they made magic together and there's actually a story you guys behind everybody because according to nikki minaj she had recorded the song for call of duty and for some reason she decided 
decided to keep it for herself for the album and she was like i was hesitant to send uzi because i thought he was gonna say what the f is this but it turns out uzi loved it hoped on it and now it's such a banger and a banger and i actually could see it doing wonders so jt obviously i'm not surprised that she's out here feeling everything she one of the things that she said um is might be too hard um, you know, FTCU, uh, light emoji, fire emoji, um, hashtag PF2. And honestly speaking, I love this for JT and Nicki Minaj. And the next person who also had some interesting things to say, Cuban Do. Cuban Do was out here uh, talking about how Bobby uh, Dangerous is lit. Erica Banks was out though, uh, they also saying, Nicki making me feel like it's 2010 again. I'm honestly in tears. What the F, okay? Uh, Dreezy also was out here saying it's Pink Friday at Nicki Minaj and uh, Lakia is out there saying I claimed the intro and it's giving me dear old Nicki yes 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 oh my goodness that's such an accurate comparison because listen I told you over and over on this channel you guys that dear old Nicki is my jam like anywhere I go if I just want to shine and if I want to perform with passion and it's karaoke time give me dear old Nikki all my friends all my family they know that dear old Nikki is my it, it's my jam honestly speaking and now even listening back to dear old Nikki now everything makes a lot of sense especially after what she has gone through and like here you are such a music genius for noticing that it literally is giving dear old Nikki ah Thank you so much, Lakia. And the next thing that I'm going to be... The next person, obviously, is Sky Jackson. Sky is out there letting us know that Nikki just dropped and it's her birthday. It's a holiday. Don't bother me. And uh, it seems like India Royal is out there saying she said no skip, no skips and she meant no skips. Melo Rex was also out there saying that Barbie Dangerous wig bees don't endanger us okay um these girlies are literally feeling uh lonzo arnold also had a whole paragraph to say about pink friday too and i'm glad i'm not the only one who's really thinking that it is a bop okay i love love um you know the entire album i love the celebrities that are out here supporting her okay and i also did listen to that song with tasha k tasha Cobbs, you guys and blessings um and honestly speaking, I love to see that. That reminds me of, uh, you know, some pictures of hers that she sent at the Tasha Cobbs show. Uh, show. And uh, Nikki was also opening up about how Tasha Cobbs was out here play, praying for her. Uh, you know, when things were getting delayed and things like that. Uh, according to Nikki, Tasha told her and said, this is an attack. I will be praying for you. And we love the praying queen, honestly. And now you see why their voodoo doesn't work because this is a prayer for woman. I mean, if you've got Tasha Cobbs and stuff and people praying for you and you also praying to God, of course, no voodoo is going to be working on you. Okay. So yeah, do hop into the comment section, you guys, and let me know what you think about that. All right. It seems like Bam Bam is also there. Red Ruby is also there. Um, and yeah, just let me know you guys what you think about that. Which one is your favorite? I told you I'm still trying to get over. Are you gone already? But I can't. The beginning gives me chills. Papa voice, uh, Papa Bear's voice. Tell me of a three year old who has made such an iconic and touching debut. I love this for, for, for Papa B and, of course, Nicki Minaj. All right? And some people out here in the comment section, you guys were letting me know that Beep Beep was really making you twerk uh, even when you do not want to twerk. Now, another bub that I didn't see coming is none other than Northwest. North already was out here bumping to the Nicki Minaj track with Lil Ozzy and all with a Barbie chain in her neck only to find out that that is the same exact chain that Nicki Minaj gifted her when she was born so yeah we love to see that you guys thank you very much you guys for watching and thank you very much oh and i did see some of you saying oh my goodness don't mention another person oh my goodness it's a bad look at for Nicki minaj and i'm like please don't make it seem like anything that people think about this woman is going to change how, how great of an artist she is i mean these people are telling me not to mention we're out here blatantly disrespecting her and now you're like it's gonna make Nicki minaj look no what you're doing is gonna make Nicki minaj look weak because this is rap 
Okay, this is female rap. It's competitive. People diss each other. And it didn't start with Nicki Minaj. This girl started it, if anything. So she will come here to finish it, all right? And if that makes you uncomfortable, I don't know what exactly you're looking for in female rap. Because, listen, it is competitive. And at some point, people do shade each other. But that being said, you guys, thank you very much for watching once more. And, uh... Thank you very much for making it this far. And uh, if there's anything you would like to talk to me about, the email is the media at gmail.com. And uh, until my next one, you guys, see you.